William K. Vanderbilt II talked about this being an educational and recreational place. He wanted people to come here and spend the day, to learn things, to see everything that he saw. He brought a little bit of the world back with him. The Vanderbilt Museum is a 43-acre park. You can go through the mansion, and we have a marine museum with all the specimens that Mr. Vanderbilt collected throughout his world travels. We have dioramas that are just absolutely outstanding. He decided to build this as a museum with collections that the public could visit long after he was gone, and this all came true. He talked about this being an educational and recreational place. He wanted people to come here and spend the day, to learn things, to see everything that he saw. He brought a little bit of the world back with him. From when he was a young boy, he would have small boats that he would travel around in. As he got older, his boats got larger and larger. Then the automobile got invented. He wound up not only hosting and financing the first organized car races in the United States, but the first paved racing road in the United States, the Long Island Motor Parkway. And then he had his own plane, and um, I'm sure he would have uh, wanted his own rocket ship. Mr. Vanderbilt, being a seafarer that he was and all the ships that he owned, I think he would appreciate the fact that we can come in here and do celestial navigation. Everything's changed. The chairs came out, the star projector came out, all of the control systems came out, so everything you see here is brand new. It's like trading in a 42-year-old car. Today we have a beautiful star projector that gives you really precise, pinpoint, brilliant stars. But in addition to that, we have full dome video, and we use databases from NASA to explore the outer reaches of the universe. It's a hybridized system, so the two work together. The optomechanical pinpoint stars move in one direction, and the full dome video stars follow along. So now we can animate things. And that's something that we could have never done in the past. So we have a 60-foot dome, and the equipment was built to the specs of this dome. So we're one of the better planetariums in this country. We have three automated programs, One World, One Sky, Solar System Odyssey, and STARS, which is about the life cycle of stars, and it's narrated by Star Wars' Mark Hamill, who was Luke Skywalker. It's almost like flying through space. We're, we're ready for the ride, and uh, we're not going to disappoint people. Mr. Vanderbilt did build this place for you, for everyone for the public, for children especially. He wanted to spark interest and wonder and, and love of learning in people, plus give them a beautiful place to come. So uh, I hope that everyone enjoys it as much as he wanted them to. Visit our website, VanderbiltMuseum.org. There's no better place to be.